Flurry Heart. One of the greatest mysteries Friendship is Magic ever threw at us. A baby alicorn? What could this mean? What purpose might she play? But instead of, you know, answering those questions, they didn't do anything with her. Even when we got a look into the future, we still didn't see what became of Flurry Heart. Or did we? This bab has been driving me mad for four years now, but I think I finally solved the case. The Canterlot Castle gets a new stained glass window every time something monumental occurs. And in the future, there's windows depicting events we never saw in the show. Apparently the student six do something with a space dinosaur. I guess such a diverse group of friends would be best suited to make first contact with an alien species, if that's what's going on here, I don't know. But today we're gonna focus on this window and see if we can piece together who Flurry Heart turned out to be. The window shows us an older flurry in the Crystal Empire using her magic on the Crystal Heart. Curiously, in the background, we see the castle where the heart is usually kept. So she must have done something irregular and significant with the Crystal Heart. How very specific, I know. But let's work with it. This window at least confirms that Flurry's destiny is somehow connected to the Crystal Heart. But what about Cadence? She's the one with the Crystal Heart cutie mark here. Plus the heart spreads love, which is pretty much her thing. True, but Flurry is connected to the heart in a way that her mama just isn't. Look at the crystalline. The Empire's love for Flurry became part of the heart and repaired it to be stronger than ever before. This isn't to say she's more connected than Cadence, but equally connected in a different way. Because of this, I find it likely that Flurry Heart is destined to rule the Crystal Empire, but not as a successor to Cadence. Celestia ruled for well over a thousand years before passing the reins to Twilight. Meanwhile, Cadence has only been ruling the Crystal Empire since Season 3. Since it looks like all Alicorns are gonna have similar lifespans to the Royal Sisters, I don't think Cadence is gonna need replacing by the time Flurry is old enough to rule. Rather, I think Flurry Heart is gonna rule alongside Cadence, together as mother and daughter. Kinda like how Celestia and Luna ruled side by side as sisters. But there's still the age-old question, what will Flurry Heart be the princess of? Besides merchandise, of course. But for real this time, we got the Princess of the Sun, the Princess of the Moon, the Princess of Love, the Princess of Friendship. Stop. There's already a problem here. Love and friendship are important relationships that keep people together. But sun and moon? Not so much. That's part of why I used to split the alicorns into different categories. But what if we've been looking at this all wrong? What if every alicorn is meant to embody a different kind of relationship? Twilight, who rules with her friends, represents the relationship of friendship. The royal sisters, who rule together, represent the relationship of siblinghood. Cadence, who rules with her husband, represents the relationship of love, but not just romantic love. I believe Cadence represents love for one's children, since that's often a natural extension of romantic love. And this is where Flurry Heart comes in, because the love doesn't just go one way. There's two sides to this coin, love for one's children and love for one's parents. With that context, Flurry Heart finally starts to make some sense. She's the princess of love for one's parents. And even better, this explains why she was born in Alicorn. We don't know how the sisters became Alicorns, but Twilight had to accomplish a feat that showed her understanding of friendship. Cadence had to accomplish a feat that showed her understanding of love, but love for one's caretaker as an instinct is the only relationship that applies at birth. Babies don't understand siblinghood, friendship, romance, and especially not raising children. But boy, do they ever understand their relationship with their caretaker. That is why the birth of an alicorn is something Equestria has never seen. No one has ever been born understanding the relationship they're meant to embody. At least not until the princess of love for one's parents. That's quite the mouthful. Turns out there's a much better way to say this that perfectly ties into Flurry Heart's destiny. Remember how I said the Crystal Heart spreads love? Well, it's only half the picture. Throughout the show, the Crystal Heart is always described as spreading two qualities. Light and love. Light and love. Light and love. Love and light. Love and light. Light. While Cadence is the princess of love, the other side of that coin is Flurry Heart, the princess of light. Both kinds of love, the profound and the light-hearted. 
are equally important. This is why they should rule together, because only together is the crystal heart fully realized. Cadence to spread love, flurry to spread light. And spreading light is exactly what it looks like she's doing in that window. I think Twilight may have known this when she called Flurry Heart Equestria's last hope. If villains ever dragged Equestria into darkness, hope would come through the Princess of Light. When you examine the Alicorn princesses through the lens of bonds that unite society, everything seems to fall into place. Love for your friends, siblings, significant others, children, and parents are all represented. Plus, it finally gives a satisfying answer to the flurry heart question that's been cursing me all these years. You have both princesses of sisterhood, the princess of love, the princess of friendship, and the princess of light. It's simple and beautiful. But what do you guys think? Am I right about Flurry Heart's destiny? Why or why not? Leave your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to support my videos financially, check out my reward tiers at patreon.com slash thebronynotion. And thank you so much to everyone who already has, especially my Alicorn tier patrons. Cameo Shadowness, Darth Silar 12, Equinox 3141, Namink, Fairfallen, Yoshi Dark Lord, Maximilian HG, Mungo Jerry, Paco Taco, Silver Blaze, Sodden Grider, and The Nameless One. You guys help make this channel possible. This has been the Brony Notion, signing out until Friday after next. Brohu!